This is how you edit the in webinar options so you can update the interactivity, the different call to actions, all directly in the webinar for both live and pre recorded webinars. So if you've already created your event, you're going to see a tab for live webinars and automated webinars up here. So I'm going to open up two separate tabs to show you the difference between live webinars and automated webinars. So uh, the first one I'm going to cover is live webinars. So it's going to be the same process where you find a pre-existing webinar that you've already created, you click on the edit button. So once you click on the edit button, you're gonna see in webinar options. So in webinar options right here, you're gonna see uh, chat moderation. So you can have uh, open chat, which means that when anyone sends a message, whether it is a presenter or a, another attendee, everyone is gonna be able to see that. If it's a moderated chat, that means that the uh, presenters and the organizers, when they send messages, everyone's going to be able to see it. Anytime uh, an attendee sends a message, it will need to be approved by either the organizer or the host. In here, you're going to see the hide participants list. This is going to actually hide who is there, the number of people that are there. And at the end of the event, uh, if you want to enable a webinar replay, then you would just take your uh, webinar replay video. You would upload it directly in here by clicking on Browse Media. This will show you all the videos that are already available in the system. And I will show if you don't know how to do that yet, um, basically all you need to do is click on that button, click on Upload Video, and if then it will actually go directly to your computer for you to pull those videos uh, within this to within your account. Uh, and then from there, when you want, after the replay, uh, after the event is over and uh, the replay is finished, um, you can actually show a replay message or redirect to a specific URL with the different call to actions. When the uh, webinar is finished, you can also have an option to send people to a uh, event over message, a specific URL, or send them to the replay page. Typically, one of the best practices that I like to have is sending people to a replay page, and then that replay page has a uh, pop-up call to action at the end of there as well. So that is for the in-webinar options for live events.